So which is better, high level communities or school communities? Now, after doing a search on YouTube, I found that most of the videos on this subject are very, very biased. They're either by a high level affiliate or they're by a school affiliate and they're trying to convince you that theirs is better than the other. Well, I like both of these tools, so I'm gonna give you a straightforward, no BS, honest answer to this question. I'll compare these two platforms head to head and I'll tell you exactly which one I believe is best right now and which one I think is gonna be better in the future. And if you'd like to get access to our free course on how to launch your brand new community and get your first 100 members in just 10 days, click the link in the description to join our free community. What's up, y'all? My name is Ron Medlin, and I help online coaches build six-figure lifestyle businesses using content and communities. And in each of these videos, it's my goal to give you at least one actionable step that you can take away and implement right now to get you closer to building your own six-figure lifestyle business. Now, let's jump in and let's compare high-level communities versus school, and let's tell you which one's the best choice for you. All right, so let's start by kind of going through the different tasks tabs up here at the top for both platforms and just kind of show you the similarities of both platforms at first. Then we'll get to, into the differentiators and I'll tell you which one of the platforms that I think is the best platform right now as of June 2024. Inside of school, we've got the first tab, which is community. Inside of high level, that is the discussion area. Pretty much the same. If you look at both platforms, they look very, very similar. And the reason that is, is because high level pretty much copied the <laughs> copied school. So school was a first platform before high level. They, they kind of took off. And so when high level sees a company that does something really well, they'll kind of model it <laughs> in a way. Okay. So that's what's happened here. And the differences are basically in school, you've got what are called categories. And this is how you categorize your content. And so you can choose the different categories and you can find all the different pieces of content that are labeled or assigned to that particular category. And it's across the top here, right underneath where you can create your post. In high level, they are called channels and they're over here on the left-hand side. So pretty much the same thing, not a huge differentiator there. The other thing is pinned posts. So let me go back to the all category here. And you can see pin posts in school, they're kind of stacked on top of each other. You can only have three pin posts at a time. So you can only pin three of your posts up here. In high level, you've got this featured area and you can actually pin more than three posts up here. And I think it's a little bit cleaner. I like the look of high levels a little bit more here. It's not a huge deal for me. It's not something that would make me pick one platform over the other. Everything else is pretty much the same. You've got the cover image here and you've got the description of the community. You've got some a little bit of data here. You've got the same over here. You've got the cover image, the description. You've got the links. Also, you have, you've got your links here that you specify that you want to show up. And then you've got the leaderboard below. So that's the community area in school and the discussion area in high level. Nothing there would, that would change my mind either way. All right, so the next tab that we're gonna talk about is classroom in school. And inside of high level, it's called learning. This is basically where you're going to house all of your courses. And if you have any rewards that are attached to gamification, which inside of both of these communities, gamification is where your members can engage in your community. And as they engage more and more, they're going to accumulate more and more points. And as they accumulate more points, they'll start to unlock different levels and you can attach rewards, which are inside housed inside of your classroom area that they can unlock as they unlock more and more of those levels. So inside of school to create a new course or a reward, you're going to click on this little plus new course. You'll give the course a name, you'll give the course a description, and then you'll decide how members will get access to this course. I don't like how static this is for school. I wish you could have options where you could give multiple ways to access a course, but I'll show you how it's still better than high levels giving access to courses. Now let's go to high level and let's talk about how you create courses in high level. So to create courses in high level, you actually have to create them outside of the community. You can't just do it directly inside the community like you can with school. You have to go to your high level account. You have to go to memberships, then courses, then products. And then you click this little blue button to create the product. And then you set up your course there. Once you have your course set up, you can actually come into your community now in the learning tab and you can click add your course. You can select the course you want to add, which you've created in the course area, the product area. There's only one access available right now in high level, which I, is definitely a disadvantage that high level has to school as far as the classroom's concerned. School has four different ways to give members access 
high level only has one right now. So that's definitely not a good thing. And so I would definitely give school an advantage in that area. Now let's talk about moving the courses around in your community in school. So if you have a lot of courses in school, it's kind of a pain in the ass to move them around. You can see I've got a lot of courses in here. So to move them around, I actually have to come in here, click, the, click these little three dots, and then I click move, and it just moves the course over one little course at a time. So it's going to take me forever to kind of move that to the top if I wanted that course to be at the top of my uh, courses. In high level, it's much easier to move these courses around. You just click the three dots, you click move card, and you can just drag and drop wherever you want it. Okay, so that's an advantage in high level. Probably not a huge thing, especially if you don't have a lot of courses, but I do like that feature. Also with school, you do not have the availability to duplicate courses. This is a big pain in my ass because I have multiple courses that have some of the same stuff in it. And so to recreate those, I had to start from scratch. With high level, you can come in here, you can go to the course area and you can just hover over the three dots here and click clone and you can duplicate those courses. So that is the classroom tab and those are the different advantages between school and high level. I would say that school has the advantage uh, on the features that really matter in the classroom area. So one point for school on that one. All right, the next tab we're gonna look at is the calendar feature in school. So currently, High Level does not have a calendar feature, but we'll take a look at the roadmap here in a second and see when we think it's gonna come out. So the cool thing about the school calendar area is you can come in here and if you have coaching calls or masterminds or just networking events, whatever you have, you can create a event, give it a title, select the date, the time, drop your Zoom link in here to give it a description, give it a cover image, select who you wanna have access to that event, and then you can also send reminders a day before the actual event. So it's pretty cool if you, especially in my paid community where we have ongoing or weekly coaching calls. And so I can just drop the actual schedule inside of my calendar area and all of our members can just go in there and access the Zoom links pretty easy. So that's a cool feature. Let's take a look at High Level's roadmap and see if this feature is coming out soon. So that this is one thing that I think High Level has an advantage over school. School does not have a public roadmap, which is kind of irritating. I love the fact that I can come in here and I can see what's about to be released in communities for high level, okay? So that's, that's definitely a bonus for high level. And they're coming out with a lot of things. They're innovating a lot faster than school. And that's one thing I like about high level. I think they'll overtake them as far as features at some point. Let's actually look at the filters that we can use to look through the roadmap here. So we've got under review. I think that's when they're actually reviewing the ideas to see if they wanna move them forward. Upcoming is, it's on the roadmap, it's planned, they're gonna do it, but it's not a priority right now. Planned is after they ship the next things that are in progress, they're gonna go into in progress, they're gonna start building those and they're gonna ship them soon. And then in progress is the one, ones they're about to ship and then complete is the ones that they've already shipped. So I believe calendar is so calendar is in plan. So that means it's the one that's going to go into in progress after they ship the next set of features. They are coming out with calendars and it's probably gonna be this quarter, I would say, but they do not have it yet. So bonus points for school when it comes to the calendar feature. All right, so the next tab we're gonna look at is the members tab. So in school, you've got, you get to look at all of your active members. You can see all of the members that are canceling all that are churned, and then all that are banned. And then if we look at high levels members, it's pretty much the same. We've got active members, we've got admins, we've got contributors requested and banned. The one differentiator, and I think school has the advantage here for sure, is you've got this churn tab. So we can see each month who is churning in our membership. So this becomes very important if you had a paid membership because you can calculate your churn rate. And then you can start to test different things to lower that churn rate and keep people longer. Definitely an advantage here with school. All right, so the next tab that we're gonna look at is leaderboards. These are pretty much exactly the same if we take a look at these. So nothing really to report here, no advantage from either platform. Now let's take a look at the About Us page. So the About Us page becomes your landing page. Mine kind of sucks right now, I need to improve it. But for school, your About page is basically your landing page for your school. So you can add video here, you can add a bunch of different images and videos here. 
can have some good copy here to sell your membership, whether it's paid or free. Now, High Level does not have an About Us page, but with High Level, obviously, you can create funnels and you can make them look however you want. So I would say probably the advantage goes to High Level just because it's a little bit more flexible when it comes to the About Us page and landing pages. All right, so we've gone through all the tabs. Now let's take a look at the settings that I think are some big differentiators for both of these platforms. So to get to settings, we're going to go over to the right-hand side here and click Settings. Same thing in high level, we'll go to the right hand side, click settings, and let's start with high level. So branding, if we click on branding, if we scroll down and we click on the advanced drop down here, you'll see that we have the ability to add custom JavaScript and custom CSS. So that means basically we can make this community look any way we really want to. So that means we can match it to our white label SaaS, make it look exactly the same, and I like that feature a lot for high level. So also, if you just wanted to tweak the look and feel of the community slightly, you've got different options here where you can choose different colors and you have light and dark mode, whereas school only has light and dark mode. And I don't really think that they'll ever have the, the ability to really customize your community. So definitely an advantage for a high level there. Now let's talk about gamification. First, let's talk about um, schools gamification. Remember, when we wanted to create a reward in school, we go into the classroom, we come down to the bottom here, create new course, give our reward a name and a description, and then we would select the level unlock feature, and then we decide what level we want this reward to unlock. That means as our members accumulate points and they finally reach that level, this reward would, would unlock. This feature is active and it's working inside of school. Let's talk about high levels gamification. So if we go to gamification and rewards, we can set our levels, we can name our levels, and then we can create our rewards, right? We can actually come in here, click this button, give our reward a name, test, and give it a description, then click save, but then you can't do anything with it. There is no game active gamification in high level, it just doesn't work. So advantage school, from that perspective. Let's talk about the discover feature. High level currently does not have a discover feature. School does. Some people like the discover feature. Some people do not like the discover feature. I personally am on the side of I like the discover feature because just like Facebook groups, I can come in here, I can search for similar groups in my niche or communities in my niche. I can join those communities, I can go in there, I can make value posts, I can comment on other people's posts and provide a bunch of value there, and I can build my know, like, and trust there, and I can drive people into my community. So I look at this feature as an extra way to drive traffic, and it's all centrally located inside of the school community. So I think that's a big differentiator for school, but you've got to kind of decide where you land on, do you like this feature or do you not like this feature? All right, so let's talk about pricing now. With school, we do a two community strategy. We have a free community where we drive all of our traffic to, they join our free community and become a lead. We then nurture that lead, build the know, like, and trust inside of that community, and then we work to book calls with our members. Once we get those people on a phone call, we decide whether it's more appropriate to get them into our high ticket offer or downsell them into our monthly paid community. And so for two communities, that's gonna run us $99 per month or for each community on school. With high level, you only have to pay $97 a month and you can have as many communities as you want. So from a pure pricing perspective, high level is the better deal. All right, so we've gone through most of the features and functionality of both platforms. We've got a big one coming up in here in a second, so stick around. But let's talk about what's coming out on the roadmap for each one of these platforms and see if there's any advantages there. To find out what's coming out on school, it's not quite as easy as it is for high level. They don't have a public product roadmap, so if you want to find out what's coming out, you kinda gotta go to the school community, and then you've gotta find Sam Ovens. So let's see if we can find Sam Ovens. He is the founder of school, and so he's the one who talks about what's coming out, what's on the product roadmap, that kind of stuff. So we'll go find Sam Ovens, we'll click on his profile, and then we'll come down here and we'll click this little filter and I'd probably bookmark his profile so you can just find it at any time and then click on just posts. And you can see he'll usually post when some new feature comes out. 
He used to have an actual visual of the product roadmap, but I have not seen that in quite some time. So I would definitely say advantage high level when it comes to letting its members know what's coming out on their product roadmap. So with high level, we actually have the product roadmap. We can go to communities and we can filter what's coming out. So let's look at what's in progress. So private channels in a community. So that is basically saying that we can come in here and we can make these channels or category, we can restrict access to those. So that's one of the features that's coming out next for high level communities. Now let's actually look at what's planned. So we've got calendars, we talked about that earlier. Searchable community posts, so that's gonna be another feature. I like the idea for a social planner for communities, so you can kind of plan out your posts and schedule those out in advance. That's pretty cool. School does not have that, I like that. And then let's look at uh, upcoming. And now that takes us to probably the biggest feature, the one thing that is pretty much a deal breaker for me when it comes to starting a high level community. As of now, in June 2024, school has a chat feature and this is a major, major part of our strategy. So we have two communities. We have a free community where we drive all of our traffic to. We generate a lead there when they join our community. And then we nurture that lead, build no like, and trust. And then we work to book calls with those community members. A big part of that strategy is our DM strategy, our private, our direct message strategy inside of school to book those calls. Once we get them on the call, we'll make a decision whether we want to invite them into our high ticket offer or downsell them to our monthly paid community. So that chat feature is a major, major part of that strategy. You can see now that there is no chat feature in high level. And if we look at their roadmap, there's really no, we don't really know when that's gonna come up. Upcoming is, you know, third in line to being shipped. So that means it's probably not gonna be this quarter, might not be next quarter, and so that's a little bit too long for me to wait for the chat feature. So if I had to start a community right now, I would choose school. Once that chat feature comes out, that is the game changer. That is the tipping point when I would start going to high level. Because once they have that feature, they've got everything that I need in a community and they're gonna be innovating way faster than school because school is just not as fast as them. And I just don't think that they have any interest in being that innovative. I, like, I think they like the simplicity of everything. They don't want to think, make things too complex and there is some benefit there. So I think that as far as features are concerned, high level will take over once they have that chat feature. School has a great culture and they have a great following and everybody's pretty invested in it. So school's always going to be a major player. But as far as features are concerned, I think once high level gets the chat feature, that is when I would make my decision to actually move to, to high level. Now, I'm going to stay on school because it's just too big of a pain in the ass to move. But if you're trying to make a decision right now, I would choose school. Once high level has that chat feature, I would choose high level. If you'd like to get your hands on our free course where we show you exactly step by step on how to launch your new community, get your first 100 members in the next 10 days, then there's a link in the description where you can join our community and get free access to that course. Go ahead and click on that link and we'll see you inside the community. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.